what's up everybody war here we are going to try to craft the legendary the mystical one of the hardest items to farm for in the game is the staff of hurting we're going to craft this uh live on stream here let's go to our diablo scene because you guys don't want to see all that other stuff in the game um but we are going to be crafting this live on stream we're going to try to get everything done for it and we're going to go through and show you how to get everything you need for it so with the staff of hurting it's one of the legendary items in the game you're going to be able to get this which opens up a portal to whimsy shire whimsy mirror something like that one of the whimsies it opens up i can't remember exactly which but all right so we're going to go into this guy so to craft the staff of hurting big whizzy welcome to craft the staff of hurting you're going to go to act four and we need to go to the silver spire one because you need to kill azul to actually get the plants all right, I have not gotten the plants, so let's go grab these right now. Let's just fly. Go kill this dude and get our plans. All right, so when you kill Azul, you have a chance for the plans to drop. The plans did not drop here, so if they do not drop, you are just going to farm him until you get them. So the best way to do this is just to go back to town, leave the game, come back in, and try to kill him again since we didn't get the plants. Eighth try. Eighth try, no problem. All right, Azul, stop playing with me. Try number eight for the plans. There they are. So, Staff of Herding plans finally dropped after the eighth try, guys. Again, when you're just farming him, the, the spawn rate is relatively high. I, this is my eighth try, and I got it. So, there you guys go. That's the Staff of Herding plans. We just picked this up. We go back to town, and we're going to turn it into the blacksmith. And then it's going to be able to show us everything that we need to get the what is actually required so we'll turn that in we go to weapons uh we go to staff staff of hurting so we're going to need one wart spell one black mushroom one liquid rainbow the gibbering gemstone and the loyoric shin bone okay so the next two items that we're going to talk about on the uh staff of hurting is first the wart spell super easy it's probably the easiest one to get you're going to go to act two in the hidden camp we're going to go see squirt the peddler you're gonna go down to miscellaneous and the wart spell one hundred thousand dollars boom easy peasy that is the first item that we need got it boom okay so next one is uh in the black mushroom which is in act one it's in the halls of agony act two i believe let me double check yeah no it's in it's in the cathedral act one so what you're going to do is you're going to come to the cathedral and we're going to search for this thing. That's the end. Give me your energy. Okay, we got one. Here we go. Is this it? We got the room. Black mushrooms, baby. I told you to give me your energy and we did it. So again, guys, act one, cathedral level one. You're going to come down. You're going to find this particular room with the two entrances and then the black mushrooms will spawn and this is all that you need. If you are playing in a group, a good tip here is to be here. Let your friends come join so that way they can all get it too. But then we're just going to click Bazinga Black Mushroom like it's nobody's business. Then we go back to town. But hold up. We're going to grab these, these patterns. Okay, we're good there. And then we go back to town. We got the plans. We got the word spell. We got the Black Mushroom. And now we're moving on to the very next piece. But that is how to get the Black Mushroom. For the staff of hurting so number three is the uh leoric shinbo this one is really easy to go farm uh we're gonna go to act one in leoric's man manor courtyard all we're gonna do is run into leoric's manor we're gonna kill this person because we don't like him and all you're gonna do is run into this room and you're gonna go to this fire pit okay it's right here to the right when you first come in if this if there's firewood and items in here that means you got it if it didn't spawn, same thing, guys. We are going to go back to town, rinse and repeat, leave game, and come back to this very spot for the item. We're going to set a record. Back to the courtyard. No if, do, facto, no problem. Oh, we got kill, kill Walton or whatever the heck his name is. Okay, so act one, Leoric's Manor Courtyard. You come in here. And you're looking for the burnt logs. So once you get to the burnt logs, you click, boom, Leoric Shinbone. We got it on try three. 
No problem. And then, then it tried to kill us, so be careful of that. Don't stand in the fire. Because it's going to try to fight us. And we almost died. And that's it. So that is item number three, guys. Super easy to get. So we have the Wurtz Bell, Black Mushroom, Leorg Shinbone. No problem. We're going for the fourth item, guys. It is the Liquid Rainbow. And this is going to be probably the second hardest item to get. Only in the sense of how far you got to go. So you're going to go to Act 2. You're going to go to the D Dulgur Oasis. Okay. And we're looking for a particular kind of cave where this miner is. So you're going to go down south, I believe, all the way south. You're going to look for one of these alcoves down here. You're going to come into this spot. Okay. So on the map, you're looking for a corner just like this. Let me kill these birds. When you find one, there's two that can spawn on the map. And you're going to be looking for a guy that spawns here. You're going to talk to him and he's going to take you down into the mines. And that's where you're going to be able to get the liquid rainbow. The liquid rainbow will spawn every time, I believe, 100%. It's just coming here. You're looking for the guy and it doesn't always spawn. So... We're going to go to check the one other spot that it can spawn at because there's only two spots that I know for sure that it spawns, but I'm pretty sure that's the main one right there. So you're going to want to just follow the edge again, guys, and just look for it again. We don't care about that. Looking for the same thing. Nope. Pretty sure it, it could just be that one spot. Nope. Two. Hey, we got it. So, I do want to mention, because we had the bounty clear the mysterious cave, this is exactly what you want. Okay? So, if you get the bounty, then you have it. I wanted to showcase how you would want to find it if you did not have the bounty. But, by far, the best way is if you do get the mysterious cave bounty. This makes it super fast. But I wanted to tell you guys on how to do it if you did not get that, which is really great. So you come down here, you save this alchemist. We're going to talk to him. Look at that. We got it on the first try, guys. First try. Chit chat with this alchemist guy. He's going to open up this door, which is great. We go in and we're going to be looking for the rainbow. We're going to be looking for a chest in here. Okay. We're looking for a particular chest. Keep your eyes peeled. We're looking for a chest. Chest won't always spawn. We got the mysterious chest. Crack this open. Liquid rainbow. So when you're going through this cave, you're looking for the mysterious chest. It does not always spawn. So that's what makes grinding this one a little bit harder. Okay, it's got to be the second hardest one to do because you have to have the guy spawn. Then inside the cave, you have to have the mysterious chest spawn which we got for the liquid rainbow this does it is easier to get if you guys get the bounty so a few ways that you can do it is to reset your game multiple times to get the mysterious cave or every single time you go to the dolgor oasis you could try to just look in those two areas that i've shown you to find the liquid rainbow boom and we have it we got four pieces that's how you find the liquid rainbow super easy to do on to on to the very last part of the staff of herding here we have four out of the five pieces we need the gibbering gemstone guys so where do we find the gibbering gemstone we're going to go to act three okay we go to the bridge of corsic all right so there's a few ways to do this all right inside the bridge of corsic you have two caves that spawn one is going to be the Cave of Frost, and one is going to be the Caverns of Frost. Azilla, welcome. We are looking for the Caverns. Okay, we don't want Caves. If you have Caves, that's a no-go. You need to reset your game. We're looking for the Caverns. Okay, now, there is a bounty in here which makes it. There's two bounties. One is going to be Clearing the Caverns, which is like kill all the monsters on level 2. Then the second one is an actual bounty that says kill Jatara. Okay, the monster that we're looking for is Jatara inside the caves. And she spawns 100% of the time, but she does not drop the gemstone 100% of the time. This is the hardest part of getting this. So, because we didn't get the bounty, we're going to go to the Bridge of the Corsic and we're going to look. On the map, 
it can spawn here here and there's like three other spots but typically it's really close so we're just gonna go search we're gonna go check it out see if we can find it see if we can find the caves here nope you're not there so we have icefall caves so that is not what we want let me kill all these things we got god dang it leave me alone we got icefall caves we don't want this so we're immediately done we're gonna go back to town reset our game so we'll clear the caverns of frost boom we got the bounty how about that second try we got the bounty we're gonna go let's go kill it is this it chat is this it live on stream second try go right in now getting in here besides the bounty of killing all enemies chachara spawns on the second level so that's where we got to go okay i'm gonna try to not kill her right away i want you guys to be able to see her that way you don't have to worry about it and hopefully we get the gemstone oh i heard a gabo hold on we heard a gabo where's the gabo at Rain rainbow gabo oh gem hoarder even better sweet okay all right so when we go in here the second level is very small she should spawn right in the beginning she's going to be a big huge looking creature we're just gonna fly through there she is jatara right there let's kill her see if we get the gemstone no gemstone fail good luck on this level man took me buddy six hours okay well this is number four this is number four right yeah one two yeah this is number four all right so let's see if we can get it on level or on, on uh try four here where you at chitara uh oh i'm dying i'm dead no we didn't get it we didn't get chitara i'm just gonna revive it corpse i'm trying to just trying to find her real quick okay let me kill all you guys real quick i don't think we got chitara to spawn there nope we got the grasping again boo nope chitara drop it oh number four baby number four <laughs> let's go the fourth run the fourth run we got the gibbering gemstone let's go let's freaking go guys so it is by far the hardest item to get when crafting the staff of hurting but we got it we got it Whoo! yes there's always lots of goblins rj okay guys we are back here we have all of our pieces for the staff of hurting words bell black mushroom leoric simbone liquid rainbow gibbering gemstone let me identify these get these items out of here and we're going to craft our staff of hurting for for our uh altar of rights easy let's grab all of our pieces okay to craft the staff of hurting super easy guys back to the blacksmith we are going to go to the staff staff of hurting now again you do have to farm these all over again if you want to craft another one normally you only have to craft this once because then you can just keep using it but with the altar of rights which we're going to sacrifice it for it just goes away so craft boom staff of hurting we need all the pieces again we're going to go to act one into new tristram boom we can go right over here to the altar and we can offer this up now a few things guys so there's a couple things you can do here okay the staff of hurting is the item that allows you to go to whimsy shire okay inside of whimsy shire you can find sir william which will if you find him he drops this glorious rainbow banner so you can farm that as many times as you want to find him i think it took me five or six days to get this rainbow banner i do want to mention that so before you sacrifice this to the altar if you do want to run whimsy shire you definitely can as many times as you want you can invite your friends you can go have fun on the level kill a bunch of unicorns and uh you know little beautiful bears you know 
uh, you can do that because once this is gone, you got to get all the items again to craft it all over again. So just keep that in mind because I already have the uh, rainbow banner. I'm not concerned about Winston Shire. I have no reason to go there. So we are just going to pick a node and sacrifice. I think we have that one. And then what's our other one here? Reduce damage taken from elites by 25%. We will take that. We will sacrifice and boom, it's gone. We have it now. All we have to do is get to 1600 blood shards, which is pretty easy to do. And then we're gonna, we need uh, three primal ancients to get our last potion here and then onto our final potion. So guys, that is how we complete and find all the items for the Staff of Hurting. That's how you craft it, and that is how you sacrifice it to the altar. Okay, guys, so thank you guys so much for watching the video and being a part of the stream and helping us do this live on stream, guys. This was awesome. Uh, make sure to comment below, and as always, stay gaming. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.